9 o'clock. Good morning, everyone. How are we doing today? Good? Excellent. So the good news is I'm not here today to talk about myself. I'm here today to talk about all you guys and what you guys are doing with maintenance. I will say my name is Adam, and I'm a Browns fan who lives in New England. That's all I'm going to talk about myself. So raise a hand. Who here today considers themselves a part-time firefighter? Yeah, I know, right? Running out, fixing stuff, getting calls from operators, text messages, post-it notes, things like that, right? It's part of our job. Another question. Who here today plans on hiring or has hired a new maintenance technician in the past three months or expects to hire one in the next six months? Yeah, a lot of new folks coming into the industry. Another question, who here is responsible with tracking performance metrics around your maintenance staff? Spending time each week trying to find the information, aggregate that information and put it into a report that your leadership can then review and understand. It's pretty time consuming for a lot of people. Finally, who here has experienced a stockout scenario in the past six months? Exactly, right? You need something and you don't have it. You're trying to track it down. You're paying expedite fees and all the things associated with the stockout scenario, not to mention the downtime, right? So the reason I ask those questions is because those are the things that we are constantly helping our clients address. Unplanned downtime issues, inefficient maintenance practices, issues with parts and supplies, and access to data, right? Unplanned downtime is one of, if not the most costly event that you can experience in a manufacturing facility. You know, industry average, an unplanned downtime event is $300,000 per hour and, and lasts on average four hours. That's significant. If we can eliminate one of those, we can justify investments not only in personnel, but in applications that can help us improve our maintenance, our, our maintenance strategy. How many times have you seen a technician running around trying to find the part that they need to execute on a work order, trying to find the audit log associated with one of their critical assets, trying to find a lockout tagout procedure so they can you know, effectively work on the equipment that they're, they're trying to address? Happens all the time. So having a CMMS tool where all those resources are available to that technician from a mobile device, easily accessible, create some huge, huge efficiencies for that technician and that team. Parts and supplies. Understanding what you need, how much you need, and when you need it is a huge, huge advantage for a maintenance team. And you know, we're here at the Shadler Yesco event. They have an awesome store management solution that can work with Fix, work with the CMMS to help you address those storeroom needs. And then at the end of the day, a computerized maintenance management system is only as good as the data that you're getting out of it. If your technicians aren't using it on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not gonna have access to the, to the data that you need to make those informed decision, decisions. Do I replace or repair? Am I spending too much uh, time with the personnel I have? Do I have the information that I can use to justify um, investments in my team within the stakeholders at my facility? So again, this is about you guys. These are the, the four common business challenges that we are working with customers uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So relative to those business challenges, IDC published a report last April where they went around, IDC is a third-party organization, they went around to fix customers and basically interviewed them to understand where they were pre-fix implementation and where they are now post-implementation. And this is an executive summary of that report. If you want the full report, uh, I can get that to you. It's about 16 pages, but these are the key takeaways. So when you think of that previous slide, we now have customer data where we can help our potential clients understand what the cost is of doing nothing, right? So we can, working with you, understand where you're challenged and use data to help you understand how you can improve in the areas that are most important to you. So you can see up here, 
operating and production cost reduction, significant improvements in maintenance staff efficiencies, reduction in, in um, mean time to repair. And I think the most important thing is on the bottom right there, significant reduction, up to 30% reduction in unplanned downtime events. So if you think of that industry average, around $300,000 per hour, four hours per, ev per event, that 30% is a, a huge number. So how do we get there? I love this slide because it really is a very simple view of what our customer's digital maintenance journey is. Most clients that we're working with are down here. Firefighters, right? Run to failure. Run to failure is a strategy. Is it a good strategy? No, it's a very costly strategy, but it's what a lot of people do. We find that most people are kind of between scheduled or preventative maintenance and reactive maintenance. Typically, a new client's gonna be around 70% reactive, 70% firefighter, 30% scheduled. If we can flip that script by implementing an easy to use intuitive CMMS platform, within about 90 to 120 days, you can go from 70% reactive to 70% scheduled. And that flip goes back to the previous slide, almost 30% reduction in unplanned downtime events by just going from firefighter to scheduled. Now, as you implement a modern, intuitive, easy to use CMMS platform, you're gonna get that initial value impact. But the important thing to understand on this screen is that every step in this journey is gonna give you additional or incremental value. So for example, as we go from preventative to condition-based, this is where everybody wants to be. And the reason I have it highlighted is because this is why Rockwell acquired Fix. Because we can integrate into production systems, collect that machine level data to automate maintenance processes. So think about the, the easiest example I can give you is, is a car, oil changes, right? 20 years ago, we had to keep an eye on the odometer to track every 3,000 miles so we can go get our oil and filter changed. Now, every single car that's made has a sensor that tells me when I need to get an oil change. It's the same thing with condition-based maintenance, whether it's tracking throughput, whether it's tracking runtime hours, whether it's sensor data, temperature, vibration, vision, all of those things, depending on what your use case is, can trigger an automated work order that goes to the appropriate person real time to their mobile device with all the information they need to execute on that work order and it makes some really efficient maintenance strategy. And at, at the end of the day, once we start using an intuitive CMMS consistently, we're gonna have the human and equipment data to leverage AI tools and really get to predictive maintenance where we're analyzing information constantly. And when we identify an anomaly, it's gonna notify the appropriate person to go out and look at whatever that anomaly is before something negative can occur. Every, everybody on board with that? Yeah. Raise the hands here. How many are people are in this area? Yeah, very common. Thank you for your honesty. All right, so we talked about what our customers are experience, experiencing. We, we talked about the outcomes that we've identified with our current customers, and we kind of talked about what that journey looks like. So I'm gonna take the last couple minutes to talk about the what, right? What is a computerized maintenance management system? So if you look at the, the, the four modules on the bottom, this is the core functionality of a CMMS. Work order management, asset management, parts and supplies, and reporting. Any CMMS out in the market is gonna do these four things, right? And with FIX, what we're doing is we're digitizing each of these components, and we're putting it into a very intuitive application that anybody can use. How many people here have Facebook, Instagram? Oh, come on. We design the mobile application in the same way that, we, that people design things like social media applications, where you can download it and instantly start using it. 
It's that easy. What does that do? It helps the adoption rate. And if you help the adoption rate, you get the data that you need to make those informed decisions. What FIX has done in the past couple of years is we've really invested in a couple key differentiators for our application, which is the integration hub and FIX Foresight. So FIX Foresight is the AI tools that I mentioned before. They're, they're pre-built, pre-configured, so you don't have to do any customization. And what FIX Foresight is doing is it's analyzing that data that's coming in, right? the hours, the runtime, the meter readings, the all of the data that's being executed on in the maintenance by the maintenance technicians is being analyzed and it's going to trigger anomalies that are out of line with what you typically should be seeing and notify the user. And then integration hub. So as customers look at a holistic connected enterprise, I'm from Rockwell so I have to use that term, the whole connected enterprise, right? Maintenance needs to be a part of that. And to, to have a CMMS that you can easily integrate into business and production systems is super important. Maybe not today, but three, five, seven years down the road, it's gonna be really uh, important to ensure you have a platform that you can integrate into the machine level data and the business systems that are running the entire facility. Final slide, I promise. So this is a very busy slide, I know. But the reason I show this slide is because relative to the integrations I just was speaking to, we're vendor agnostic. <laughs> so on the production system side, whether we integrate into a PLC, an IoT platform, a historian, maybe you have disparate assets across a, a, you know, a broad geographical area, we can integrate into fleet management systems to pull in that telemetry data as well. Doesn't matter who you're working with. We have an open API to allow our clients to integrate into those different production systems. And then long-term into ERP or business management systems. So what we're doing here is we're creating a bi-directional flow of data where parts and supplies, financial data, vendor data can move between the CMMS, which is purpose-built for the technician in between that and the ERP or business system, which is where the financial and the business resources are living and breathing every day. As a technician, who wants to be working in SAP every day? Nobody, that's why everybody we talk to that has SAP PM is really frustrated because they don't wanna be in there. They want a tool that is built for them, which is what we strive to do.